Now, Michelle, in this um, documentary, I was watching Gabby. Gabby said that um, she felt forever she would feel bad and haunted, and she feels sorry for helping you do what you, you did to Stoney by helping you put Stoney in the freezer and helping you put Steven in the freezer. And she said the most important part, she felt bad about Steven because Steven was still alive. And Steven That's not true. Suffered. She got that part mixed up. That's not true. Steven was dead. Steven didn't suffer. Steven was dead. Mm -hmm. But you know, my thing is this. Mm -hmm. Through everything, what about my little son? Like, don't nobody give a fuck about him. He was suffering. He was suffering. They fucked him in his own bed. Like, I don't care what no other mother or father or uncle or auntie on this earth got to say about me. I'm standing ten toes down for defending my child. You do not fuck your brother. That rape shit, I'm not playing with that shit. If you a human being that can rape somebody else, you need to die. That's how I feel. But far as Steven suffering, now he suffered. I tortured his ass for an entire week. Same as I did Stoney. Okay. We, we don't they, want to, they slowly tortured Matthew. I enjoyed every bit of blood that was coming out of their face, chest, wherever. Because they enjoyed blood that came out of his ass. So can't nobody tell me nothing about having remorse for them. I don't have remorse for them. I have remorse for killing them in front of my daughter. Because that shit scarred her for life. But I do not have remorse for killing them. To me, that was my son's closure. If they can fuck on you, then you can watch them motherfuckers die. And that's how I feel. Okay. Michelle, Gabby said that yes. you bust Stoney in the, in the head with an object and blood squirted out of her head and she said that you were like in cheer you were cheering about that is that true well i didn't bust her on the head i hit her in the head with a wooden beam mm -hmm. it was her brow the part under your eyebrow yes it was her brow and it broke through the skin i guess the bone broke through her skin and i did i laughed i chuckled at that shit i did i don't know about the cheering that's debatable but yes i did I was at my most evil. I was not crazy. And I want my son, Matthew, to understand. I was not crazy. I was not out of my mind. I was very clear on what I did when I did it. And I did that shit for him. Because he deserves to see that. Okay. If somebody does something like that to you, you deserve what you got coming, period. That's not, now am I saying it's normal? No, that's not no normal shit to kill your children. No, I do not think it's normal. Do I think it's right? No, the fuck I don't. It's not normal and it's not right to kill your kids. But I do not regret it. How the fuck was I supposed to make Matthew whole again? What was I supposed to do? Send him somewhere to a psychiatrist? If your pussy or your dick get wet for a child or when you raping somebody, you need to go. It's something wrong with you. You need to die. The fact that they was able to do that shit, and for however long they do it, they did it for, I still don't know. But that is, at the end of the day, that's my son. All these other mothers and fathers and whoever else, they can choose to deal with how, let somebody fuck their kid, and they can choose to deal with it how they want to deal with it. I dealt with it how the best I knew how. At the end of the day, my son ain't gonna say I let him down. At the end of the day, he knew he was important enough for me to give a fuck about what happened to him. That's a violation that cannot just go with, oh, we putting you in therapy or a group home. The problem is still there. You are a fucking rapist. If you can do that as a kid, get the fuck out of here. Okay. I have no remorse for that. And I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say, but I, I don't have no remorse and I don't feel bad about not having remorse. You shouldn't have did what you did to my child. But my only thing is, the only reason I'm giving this interview is because, Gabby, how dare you switch these facts? How dare you switch this up? 
You know what happened to that boy. You know you would have just had this interview. I would have let you have that. But you should have never brought Matthew up. And if you did bring him up, you should have been totally factual. You knew I was coming, girl. What's, come on now. I'm never going to change. You know who your mama is. Okay. Uh, if I didn't play with my own son and daughter about my baby, you know I'm not going to play with you about this, daddy. You was dead wrong. You shouldn't have even brought him up. He is in high school. You should have even did this interview. You could have waited till he was in college, but you didn't even give a damn. But you would not cast doubt on what happened to that boy. Period. 